Except for the women's side, it's not by being beat. It was just by not showing up for the tournament. Taking some time off as Annalie Waters. Side out. And a fun matchup here with Lauren Stratman and Caitlin Christian. We saw Caitlin uh, just a few moments ago zero, on championship zero. court. And now her opponent, Lauren Stratman, sneaking by Christine Maddox. Oh, that is good from Lauren Stratman. What a hustle yeah. at that point. Beautiful cross-court shot from the kitchen line as Lauren Stratman known more for her ball striking from the back of the court, but showing some kitchen play chops on that point. You're exactly zero, right by saying sneaking by Christine Maddox. 11-9, 11-8. The scores from that one for Stratman. Good win. 1-0. Just missed deep from Lauren Stratman. Big serve from her. Stepping around the backhand, looking for the forehand, which I like. Just missed that one by an inch or two. Zero, one. Trevin say, wow. <laughs> As she, she missed that one by uh, the previous point and entered to that one by several feet. One, one. Sometimes you just miss hit those first volleys. Point. And that is a nice punch volley. She talked about her swinging two-hander that she's yes. been working on. That is a classic tennis Two, volley. One. Thanks to who? Well, I, I guess me. <laughs> I had no <laughs> idea. <laughs> you missed it. Caitlin Christian saying she's been working on developing that two-handed backhand. Thanks to our very I own Alex with, Stone. We're going to replay this I'll recall it last one. point. And she said she's been hitting two tennis volleys for 20, 25 years, so not an easy adjustment to make. Good for her. A couple yeah. of California Side gals out. in this matchup. That's a nice... Shot from Stratman just lofts it in, just catching the sideline. Oh, yeah, she was in terrible position. That was a phenomenal shot from Lauren Stratman. Back way One, behind two. the baseline. Point. That's a heck of a combination there. She carves the one-handed backhand with backspin short in the court and then a one-handed roller to the open court. Side out. Two, two. Yeah. Oh, Stratton on the run, dials in that ball down the line. Yeah, one or two errors in easier positions, but when she's in a tough two, spot, two. she's coming up with the goods. some of the approach shots from Lauren Stratman. She has a lot of pace and depth on her ground strokes. Three, two. Yeah. Point. Stratman coming out hot with some really nice shot making and it's not just from the back of the court, some really clean crisp volleys up at the kitchen line as well. Four, two. Point. Timeout receiver, five, two. Time in. Five, two. Oh, yeah. Point. Wow. That is a slice approach shot, two inches inside the baseline from Caitlin Christian, and a clean pass winner from Lauren Stratman. She, she really has it working. Yeah. 
point. Nice middle approach from Lauren Stratman, and Caitlin Christian is a bit out of sorts. And a lot of that has to do with the pressure her opponent Seven is putting two. on her. Points. Nice return, Lauren Stratman. Looks like she came here with a purpose. Eight, two. She's playing at a very quick pace. Right out. Point and in between points. She sends the ball back over to Caitlin Christian, who has a lot of work to, work to do to get back in game one. And a tough loss in North Carolina to Stratton. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> clean rip down the line, inside in. Yeah, that was a, a picture of perfection on an inside in forehand. Point. I mentioned that loss in her last timeout for Stratman. Took a loss to Jeannie Bouchard in North Carolina Cup. It's clear she has regrouped since Nine, then. Two. Point. Come on, come on. That's a very Game deep point. serve with pace and spin. And shocking development. Not that Lauren Stratman has a game point, but she has a game point at 10-2. 10 to 2. Ten two. Point game, switch in. Game sealed in just about eight minutes time, for including the production staff. Worked many long hours to bring this New ball. Game television two. show Shine to in. you. Zero, zero. Side out. Big response from Caitlin Christian out of the break. What kind of reset would you like to see on her zero. game after this? Serve. Side out. Missed. Uh, great energy after that first point from Caitlin Christian, but I, I think right now she might need a couple things. She's got to play a cleaner game and, and uh, force Lauren Stratman to cool off somehow. Zero, the zero. shot making has been on point. Good from Lauren Stratman. And Kaylin Christian was doing, doing such a good job in the previous match against Mary Brasha of getting forward One and zero. getting to the net on her terms. Point. Missed return there from her. And uh, I think that is going to be the key to the success in game two is getting up to two the zero. kitchen line the way that she wants to do it. Right now, Lauren not letting her do that. There's the right two-handed swinging volley from Caitlin Christian that she's been working so hard on up at the kitchen line, paying dividends on that shot. Zero, two. Point. Big serve from Caitlin Christian, hitting the court and taking off, forcing the miss hit from Lauren Stratman. One, two. I'll recall. One, two. Point. What an initial stab volley. That kind of messing with a shot or two in that point. Lauren Stratman looking for the hard roll cross court and couldn't find it. Two, two. Exactly what I'm talking about. Dictating play, coming Time forward, receiver, not letting. Caitlin Christian, a bit of a heater here heading into the break. A lot of talk about footwork Time on the side of Stratman's bench. Three, two. It's a Side out. Classic go to uh, for in a coaching situation as the footwork basically can't be too good. Anytime you're moving your feet more and more and more, it's, it's just two, uh, the play, and it just evaporates sometimes for the player. So having a nice reminder about that uh, is good to have. Back in control, Lauren Stratton ties it at three. Yeah, first strike, pick, first strike pickleball is really the preferred play for both of these ladies. So who can three, get three. into that 
quality position early in the point. Oh, that is a feathery touch. And we saw it four or five times on the backhand side up at the kitchen with Slice against Mary Brosh in the previous match, this time at the full stretch three, forehand. Three. Tried to go with the lob after the drop shot. She had a, a, a big chunk of open court to the right of Lauren Stratman. I think that would have been the better play. It's hard to make those decisions three, in the moment, three. though. Side out. It's great, great footwork from Caitlin Christian because that slice drop from Stratman had a lot of spin on it. And Caitlin Christian got back so that she could have her contact point out in front. And she struck it nicely. Three, three. What a ball from Christian. Yeah, it's a tough, tough spot there for Lauren Stratman, who's in the very back part of the court has to come all the way forward on the diagonal. A lot of court to cover for her. Four, three. Side out. Three, four. Out. Yeah, she got exactly what she wanted by Caitlin Christian staying back and exactly what she wanted, meaning from Lauren Stratton. Four, she was unable to come up with the approach shot. Point. Corner to corner. Smart play from Caitlin Christian. Yeah, whoever gets in first is at a huge advantage right now between these two ladies. Five, three. First ever meeting between these two. Side out. Well, that's a nice dipping forehand from Lauren Stratman. And if you know your opponent has really nice drop volleys, just hit as good a pass as possible and force them into a tough one. Halen Christian couldn't come up with that. Three, five. Perfectly Side played out. once again by Christian. Full slide on that first volley. Can't describe to you how tough it is to hit a quality shot when you are sliding into it. Great athleticism from Caitlin. Five, three. Wow. Point. So good, she actually snuck in early in that point, did Caitlin Christian, she got forced back to the baseline receiver, and finds the passing shot. Really nice combination of shots from her. Well, she said she, that you get- Timeouts, no timeouts. Run for Caitlin Christian. After getting dominated in game number one. So head of the break, I asked Adam what, what else three. he'd try and sneak into the game of Caitlin Christian other than that two he suggested. Well, Revisit that in a moment. I, Missed it. I, I, I'm not sure anything. I, I think that she has done a great job of having more variety in her game. She has the drop volleys on both sides. She can hit through the ball on both sides. Three, six. So I think it's just a, a matter of just building on that and getting cleaner with some of those uh, variety of shots that she started to work into her game the last few months. So uh, it, it, it's all there. It really okay. is all there uh, from a shot making perspective and a court coverage perspective. Oh, Stratton had exactly what she wanted. Yeah, she just kind of tried to, to guide that to the open court and even see Caitlin Christian pop on camera over there and take a look at some of the sight lines. Not sure Six, what happened four. on that one. Point. Uh, that cl 
slips the tape right over the paddle of Lauren Stratman. And she's running over to the ventral fast to possibly put on some shades, maybe? I don't know exactly what's going on, but we'll find out in a second. Yep. You are correct. Seven, four. Oh. Side out. Nice passing shot, a little extracurricular from Caitlin Christian. He must have. Lost a hold of it. He must have given her a point penalty earlier <laughs> in the day. She's <laughs> disgusted with that. Chunks, <laughs> chunks the paddle at him. And hey, Four, one seven. point with shades. A clean winner, <laughs> clean winner for Lauren Stratman. Hater point. shades are on. <laughs> Activated. Just missed the drop volley. And a bit five, of momentum seven. back on the side of Lauren Stratman serving at 5-7. a ginger step from Caitlin Christian. I hope there's no issues there, but after that, that slide, she did, uh, that first step was kind of gave seven. out on her a little bit. Hmm. Something to monitor. Oh, wow. Oh, that look, is crafty. Look where, that, look where that, that ball ends up after it hits the court. It actually comes back over onto her side of the net. What spin. Oh, my. And, that was disgusting from Caitlin Christian. I haven't seen a ton of that Side from out. anyone else's game with the way Caitlin Christian is able to manipulate that ball. And the only thing I can think of on the top of my head is a couple Jack Sock shots Six, <laughs> that have uh, kind of come back into the net with backspin. Point. Kind of come back for Lauren Stratman. Yeah, she Time out receiver, 7-7. Seven, seven. She's <laughs> Caitlin Christian. Time in. Comfortable five-point lead evaporated seven. for Christian. Side out. Missed approach shot from Stratman. I found out what Caitlin Christian was doing underneath the towel. Yes. They had a camera on her on the break. She's eating granola bars seven, seven. and <laughs> drinking squeezable applesauce. That's <laughs> 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 Gotta get fueled up. Back-to-back uh, -back approach shots, one from each lady catching the net. Ball back over to Lauren Stratman. And it is a seven, big seven. moment in this match right here. Side out. Uh, so she overcorrected as almost a carbon copy of two points ago where she put it in the net. Now seven, she sells seven. it long. Side out. Was long, but nice rep on that two-handed backhand for Christian. Seven, seven. Sending the ball back to Stratman. Ooh, right well out. played by Caitlin Christian. Yeah, phenomenal read as Lauren Stratman had a good beat on that drop volley from Christian. So uh, I think Caitlin wasn't in the best spot and she took an educated guess that it was going to go up the line, and she guessed seven, seven. right. Side out. This lady's very comfortable on their scores of seven, as no one seven, wants seven. to take that <laughs> step forward. Yes. Point. That ball floating up on the first volley of Stratman. I think Caitlin Christian just came out of it. She was down, had a nice knee bend, athletic position right before contact came up over top of the ball. Point. Stratman will add another. Now two points away. Championship Sunday appearance. That would be huge for Lauren Stratman. Nine, seven. One of the OGs of the sport. Point. Oh, no, missed for a time. Point. And really, I, I thought 18 months, two years ago, that Lauren Stratman might go the route of a lot of players and just stick with doubles and not play yeah. singles anymore. 
and she has proved me very wrong stepping up her game and she has a good shot to advance to second right here. Point Lauren Stratman cleans up in two. She is through to her first championship Sunday of 2024. What a moment. Uh, I missed the question. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't hear you. That's okay. <laughs> looking for your looking for your first gold in 2024. What is what does the moment mean to you? Actually, this is my first singles final ever in my entire career on the PPA tour. So I am literally like could cry. I'm so happy. I feel like I've been in like a slump this year with my singles. And um, I've been having my dad travel with me. He's uh, coaching me and it's just been helping so much. And just shout out to him. Thank you. And um, I'm just, I'm so happy. I can't wait to play on Sunday. Lauren, great playing out there. And you know, I love the OGs of the sport. And often when you start playing, you have some single success. And then when you start having double success, a lot of players just scrap singles. I think you've done a nice job in the last six months or a year uh, of really stepping up your singles game and sticking with it, even though you are having success on the doubles court. Uh, what, what, what does it mean to you to, to play all three events and stick with singles at such a high level? Yeah, I think for me, like, I've just always enjoyed singles. It's a great workout. It's fun. And um, I kind of like to use it as, like, a day to kind of feel the courts out and get ready for doubles. And um, I had a good year in singles last year, and I just wanted to keep building on it, you know, keep getting in better shape and um, just see what I can do, really challenge myself. And, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm proud of that. Well, Lauren, you mentioned your dad has been instrumental in your pickleball development. What's been the best advice he's given you either today to turn this second game around or just in general in your pickleball career? Yeah, he keeps calling me the responder. It's how I respond to adversity <laughs> out here. And this entire day has been like full of three set battles, came back from 07 in the third in my second round. Um, and it's just been a day of uh, how I responded. And that's what he's been telling me on the bench uh, this whole day. So it's, it's worked out.